A picture is worth a thousand words, and we are an increasingly visually oriented culture. And the power, I think, of movies, film, cinema has never been greater. It's very, very fitting that tonight we're going to see, and before seeing, have you learn a little bit about this fascinating, forthcoming feature movie release, Alone, Yet Not Alone. So with that introduction, I want you to meet two friends who will help us understand not only this movie, but the context of the power of movies in America and in our world today, and the context of the particular challenges and opportunities that confront a movie which captures those things we stand for at Centennial Institute, faith, family, and freedom. I think this film captures values that are really missing in today's culture, and that really need to be promoted, and um, need to be seen, and seen in a light that's positive, and that at the end of the day, you believe in what you've seen, and you want to be a part of that. I think just really taking your beliefs and your values to the forefront, and to the front lines, is kind of what Enthused Entertainment is doing. Instead of just being upset with all the entertainment that's coming out that doesn't promote values that they believe in, to um, actually produce, and you take, put their money where their mouth is, and produce films that are value creating, and do, um, promote issues that, that we believe in. I play the role of Barbara Leininger, and it's the story of a family during the French and Indian War, and um, all the drama that was happening during that time with the Indians. And So her family was massacred by Indians. The two little girls were a part of her family was massacred, and the two little girls were taken captive, and um, were taken hundreds of miles away from their home. And it's pretty much a story of just their enduring faith and what it is that sustained them during their captivity and their trials and um, ultimately what brought them back together. Things are changing. We've had a lot of very low budget films that have kind of blown up big. But I think you're getting to see a different where uh, more marketable, recognizable actors are joining this, this area. And I think that the faith-based label for so, in some circles, unfortunately, has a negative connotation. I think that's going to change too. I think as more people go, go see these movies, and the, as the artistry increases, I think there's going to be a, a slow but steady evolution and an increase in what we see, uh, the quality, the caliber of what we see as well.